What's up guys, look at what we have here, it's the Xiaomi Mi 8. Finally, the ultimate Xiaomi flagship phone has arrived. And I must say, this is really getting me pumped up. There hasn't been any Xiaomi phone ever at this caliber. And in this video, I covered all the things that you need to know about the Mi 8. The display, the software, and yeah, mostly about the camera. Photos, videos, and even a quick video comparison between the Mi 8 versus the Mi 6X. Yes, so much going on here. So let's just get right to it then. Unboxing coming right up. No. Okay, here we go. The unit I have here is the 6GB RAM slash 256GB ROM. Let's just open it up. Okay, nice and easy. Boom. Some Chinese text here, which says innovation for everyone. Okay, time to see what's under this thing. Wow. W wait, what's with all these bubble marks? Oh, this was already open before. What? So my unit isn't a virgin anymore? <sighs> okay, let's just see what's inside this mini box. We have the USB-C dongle, which means there's no headphone jack on the Mi 8. And here we have the SIM injector pin, and some papers that I usually don't read. And finally we have the stock jelly case for the Mi 8. Nice to have it come with the phone. I don't think there are third party cases yet for the Mi 8. So yeah, good to have it. And here we have the charger. This my friends is only a QC 3.0 charger, as you can see right there. Although the Mi 8 does support QC 4.0+, plus, you have to buy a certified 4.0 plus charger though to get the out of it. Of course, we can't forget about the USB Type-C cable here, and I think that's pretty much everything of what's inside the box. Okay, cool. Now it's time to peel off the plastic. Or should I say, repeal it? Darn. And we also have some at the back. Okay, let me just remove that as well. Okay, here's the back in all of its glory. Look at that. By the way, the back is made out of glass, but it doesn't seem to support wireless charging as per Mitch 002. So yeah, more on the back. We have the vertical dual cameras, and at the center we have the fingerprint scanner. At the bottom we have the Mi logo, along with some other text. At the right side we have the volume rockers, along with the power button right below. On the left side we have the dual SIM tray, which doesn't have an SD card slot. Bummer. Microphone at the top, and at the bottom we have two speaker grills and the USB Type-C port. Alright, that ends the boring part. Now it's time to turn on this beast. And to make it a lot more interesting, I'm pitting it up against the black shark and see who boots up faster. Oh, by the way, the Mi 8 is packing a Snapdragon 845 processor paired with an Adreno 630 GPU. For now, the Mi 8 only has 6 gigs of RAM. It's the Mi 8 Explorer Edition that will have the 8 GB variant. And there goes the Mi 8, and yep, there we go. The Mi 8 boots up faster. And oh my god, that Mi 8 display is just looking so dope. It's got a 6.21 inch Full HD Plus Samsung Super AMOLED display. Yes, it even has support for HDR10. What? I immediately went to YouTube to watch my favorite show. And as you can see, the notch disappears. It doesn't have that same full screen pinch functionality like you'll see on other notch phones. It just goes 16 by 9 when watching YouTube. The colors and sharpness are on another level here. Blacks are super black, bright colors are punchy, and the viewing angles are just amazing. They didn't experience any color shift when looking from the sides. And here I compared it to the Black Shark, which by the way has an IPS display, and as you can see the Mi 8 has pure blacks, while the Black Shark is kind of bluish. That's just how good the Mi 8 display is. Okay, let's just go in now and see the software. This is running MIUI 9.5 out of the box by the way. MIUI 10 wasn't available yet as an update when I filmed this, but yeah, out of the box it comes with a lot of Chinese bloatware apps, which is expected since this is using a China ROM. MIUI is a great skin since it provides a lot of optimization and performance and battery. It also has a lot of neat features. One I like the most is the full screen display gestures, which lets you navigate your phone iPhone 10 style. That and of course 
the camera app of course and yes it borrows the same look as the iPhone 10 stock camera app. There is just so much iPhone 10 here on the Mi 8. It even has the same 2 times lossless zoom which lets you zoom in without losing image quality. One feature though that stands out to me is the AI detection mode. This my friends works the same way as Google Lens. This will use AI deep learning to detect the object that is taken. You can then have the software look up the object and find data that matches it. Pretty neat. Although it looks like there's still no English version of this feature, best to wait for Google Lens app instead of using this though. And oh yeah, let's not forget about the infrared face unlock camera. The face unlock is fast and reliable, even in low light, thanks to that infrared. But this, my friends, is not the same one on the upcoming Explorer Edition, which will have true 3D facial scanning. In the subject of AI though, the Mi 8 does come with AI in auto mode. It's able to detect the subject and apply some enhancements to it. Manual mode is also fully stacked. It has adjustments for ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and white balance. You can also switch from the telephoto lens to the wide angle lens and vice versa. Okay, I've been talking a lot about the camera and haven't really given any specs on it. So here it is. The most heavily spec camera in Xiaomi history. It's got one 12 megapixel wide angle lens and one 12 megapixel telephoto lens. It's got 4 axis OIS, dual pixel face detection autofocus, AI, 4K video, and 240 frames per second slow mo at 1080p. Boom! At the front is a 12 megapixel selfie shooter which has AI for portrait and beauty filters. It also has LED flash. And here are the photos coming from the Mi 8. Very detailed, sharp, and really interesting looking photos. I like how it can capture so much from the subject and make it look really lively. It's also very good at handling light. As you can see, there are no overexposed parts in the photos. This is the combined power of AI and HDR. Here's a photo without HDR and AI. And here's one with it. The difference is huge. Not only did the photos look a lot more lively, a lot more detail was captured as well. It can transform dull pictures like this one into something like this. The transformation is just amazing. And here are some low light shots. As you can see, even without HDR, it can capture ample amounts of detail. These shots, by the way, are almost pitch black in real life. That's why it's really impressing me a lot. And as for portrait shots, cutouts are pretty decent. As long as the subject has a defined shape, it will cut it out nicely. But for parts like hair, it will blur out some parts of it. When the scene is quite complex as this, it does its best to cut out what it thinks are foreground subjects. It's not perfect, but most of the time it gets the job done. And here's a sample of the 2 times lossless zoom. As you can see, the photo is still sharp after applying the 2 times zoom. And coming into selfies, there is a little bit of smoothening and widening applied by the AI. Beautification is really simple, which is the way to go. The field of view is a little bit wider than the Mi 6X. And yep, here are some groovy pics. And here's a selfie video. Now this is what the 20 megapixel selfie camera can do. And from the looks of it, there's also some minor beautification added on the selfie video, which is great. Alright, here's a couple of slow-mo videos, guys. Enjoy! Now a quick walk test. As you can see, these guys both have EIS. Walking is really smooth, but to me, the Mi 8 looks a lot smoother. There's just a little bit of shake and jitter on the Mi 6X. The Mi 8 just looks so awesome. You can do some really dope cinematic videos with this. As for 4K though, only the Mi 8 is able to have EIS. And in low light, the Mi 8 has better exposure, although the color in the Mi 6X does look a lot more punchy though. And that is pretty much it for this unboxing and quick overview of the Xiaomi Mi 8. 
For me, the Mi 8 is shaping up to be the best flagship and it just costs under $500. And this is not even the Explorer Edition yet, with the in-display fingerprint scanner, true 3D facial scanning and a really cool looking back. I'm going to cover that soon as well, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. The Mi 8, by the way, is already available at Shundi Philippines, your one-stop shop for mobile phones and gadgets. They've got all sorts of super gadgets here that are usually hard to find anywhere else. Drop by if you have time, I'm sure you'll love it. I'm also rolling out a Black Shark vs Mi 8 speed test and a full camera comparison between the Mi 8 and the Mi 6X. So yeah, a lot of content coming your way soon. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.